To discuss the subject of morality, we have firebrand preacher Pastor Richards, the head of the Pastor Richards Salvation Statue Organization, a group which plans to raise enough money to build a statue of Pastor Richards himself. We also have John Brown, leader of Moms Against Popular Culture, or MAPC, or is it MAPS? Map K? Uh, I don't know. We're deep in acronym hell right now, or is it purgatory? And finally, we have Barry Stark, author of the book As Nature Intended. He's the editor of Vice City's Naturist News, and is working feverishly, it says here, to bring more nude recreation to Vice City. To protect the dignity of our other panelists, we place Mr. Barry Stark behind a divider. I'm naked back here. It's my right as a person. <laughs> yes. Let's start with the obvious, yes? Is it moral to be naked? Yes. You can't stop me. Well, I'm a mother, so I have to deal with this issue every day. My adorable kids have learned that it's wrong to be naked. When it's bath time, they know to put on a bathing costume. That's that's also the reason there are no mirrors in my house. Nudity leads to bad, naughty things. Everyone's complaining about crime and the theft of cars in the city. No one's ever stolen my car. No one's ever pickpocketed me. They've never even tried. Well, that's because you're a degenerate loony. If the police were naked, it would set a great example to everyone. You can direct traffic and eat donuts entirely in the buff. Maurice, this kind of immoral behavior is exactly why I'm building the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. Noah had an ark, Texans had the Alamo, and I am building a highly fortified structure in my image. Simple. This 50-story statue will be able to deflect alpha, gamma, and beta radiation. Why do I have to stay behind this divider? Maurice, please! Because nobody is interested in seeing your... Business. Because we have standards of decency which you are offending. Look at me! I'm jumping up and down! Oh my goodness, get back behind the divider. Please, I'm married! What's so wrong with me? Why do you hate me because I'm happy? Jan, give me a hug. I won't hurt you. And by the sound of things, your husband is doing the same right now with his secretary. No, we've worked through it. He was stressed. It's hard keeping a family together these days. Everyone, take your clothes off and feel what it's like to be free of bondage. Everyone out there in Vice City, take your clothes off. If this is the land of the free, let's start with our pants. Feel the wind from the air conditioning. Ugh, a breeze is so liberating. <laughs> Thanks very much. Now, if you could get back behind that divider, Barry, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thank you. Uh, n now, sit down. On pressing issues, we think it is very important to respect one another. To treat each other like we would like to be treated. I want a hug. If you don't like the United States, son, why don't you move to Russia? I don't understand people in America today. They call this a cold war, but it's hotter than hell. Mark my words, any day now you're sitting in school passing notes and talking about the prom when suddenly you look out the window and there are Russian paratroopers dropping in to take over. What can you do? Run into the woods with your friends? Call yourselves the Wolverines? Put twigs in your hand? Try to beat back the Ruskies? No, you hightail it to Pastor Richard's salvation statue and blast off into space. But there is a limited amount of space. That's why I suggest anyone who wants the safety and security of your own bunker, give now. Call 866-9-SAVE-ME. We'll get you on the payment plan, and if you're paid in full on D-Day, you and your family will be safe. If not, you may have to choose to save yourself and leave the others behind. Hey, 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 stop selling things on my show. You're not a value sponsor who supports the art of public radio, buddy. I, for one, welcome our new Russian masters. We can learn so much from other cultures. Did you know in India, the women protest by setting themselves on fire? I tell you, next time the kids are screaming for ice cream and pop, I may just douse myself in kerosene. I use that as a threat to my kids all the time, so it's no wonder they're so screwed up. And that leads to my next question. People in high school in Chile are all naked. I've about had it with you, Barry. I try to be fair, I try to be kind, but you are a freak and a liar and wasting everybody's time. The organs below the belt are for reproduction and removing of bodily waste. There's no reason that when I go to buy a soda or a transmission, I need to be distracted by your privates dangling about. Now, when I go to the store to buy an air conditioning filter, I'd rather not have to look at your moneymaker, amigo. I'm glad you are proud of it, but when people of Vice City are in a quickie mart, they should be able to have a simple financial transaction without seeing your fire hose. Are you with me? Sorry, Maurice. That's okay. Just try to behave. I think the sun must have got to you or something. 
Yes, maybe that's it. Uh, Maurice, if I may, you have a fine show here, and, and I'm glad to be on it. But everyone within the sound of my voice and smell will die in the fires of doom. It is written, TV is trash, radio is trash, our newspapers are run by Canadians with an agenda. Our very way of life is threatened. We form this great state to play golf, and I'll be damned if any weirdo hippies are going to tell us we can't fill in wetlands and make a home for ourselves, complete with 18-hole championship standard courses and select of admission. Heathens will ruin the land. Acid will rain from the skies. We'll never hear my voice again. It will be anarchy. TV teaches immorality. Refugees, glue, the price of tea in China. How can we raise children in this environment? My little boy asked me the other day, Mommy, are unicorns real? What am I supposed to say to that? Do I lie and make myself as bad as the boy's father? Or do I break the little boy's heart and ruin his life so that he ends up a nudist or a freak or something? It's a difficult question, Jan. A very difficult question. Is it right to lie? Close or a lie, Maurice? No, Barry. Clothes are a way of keeping warm and not getting arrested. No policeman has ever hit me with his truncheon. I'd head. like to hit you back to hell, you sicko. Your filth. Human form of vermin. A blight on a fine society picket fences and garden parties and everyone coming three times a day to my statue to pay homage. Pastor Richards, as a human being, I have to say I find your philosophy or cult or whatever it is Utterly and completely appalling. Why, thank you. I knew you'd understand. I mean, you seem to want to build a religion around yourself and some 1950s vision of America. It's the 1980s, man. And one-man worship me cults are not allowed, my friend. Exactly. As I say in the great book, many a call, but unless you have a good credit rating, go screw yourself. You're burning hell. Ay, por favor, shut up. B Barry, what are you doing? I'm lonely, Maurice. Lonely, and I need some bodily contact. Get behind. Get back behind that panel. Don't be shy. Please. We've all got one. That means I'm happy. Hey, stay away from me. I'm a celebrity. Oh, good Lord. Hide yourself, boy. I warn you, I'm armed and I'm not afraid to use it. We've all got one. Look how free I am. Mmm, the fan feels so good. I feel you. Hey, hey, Pastor Richards, please put the gun away. Put it away. No, I am the sole judge of truth and decency. Get back, heathen. Get back. I love you all. Evil doer, die, devil, die. Ow. ow. Dios mío, you shot him. There's blood and pubic hair all over the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, it is complete pandemonium here on pressing issues with me, the multi-award winning and soon-to-be executed Maurice Chavez. Uh, Barry, are you okay? Are you alive? Stop the bleeding. It's, it's down there. Uh, do I have to? Can't you get someone else? Uh -huh. Ay, Dios mío, she's fainted. No, hold it. Harder. Oh, that's so good. I need mouth to mouth. Maurice, please. I might die. Um, okay. Excuse me. I'm only doing this to save your life. I don't want to. Thanks. I'm getting cold. Quickly. It's okay to use tongues. Ah! Get off of me! I'm happily divorced! Shall I send him to hell, Maurice? Yes! I mean, no! No, you psychotic lunatic! Put that gun away! Don't point it at me! Or your what, son? You think I'm scared of your conventional lily-livered morality? You think you can tell me what to do? You think it's wrong for me to have five concubines to spread my genes or to use money from the statue for building my own palace in Hawaii? You think that's wrong, do you, son? Do you, huh? No, 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 Mr. Pastor. Sir, I, I think it's very right. Very right indeed. You're the boss. You're in charge. You're the king. Damn right I am. Now, I'll tell you about morality. Morality is what I say is right, and immorality is what I say is wrong. you got to understand this. <clears throat> oh, uh, I do. Oh, I'm bleeding. I need a proctologist. Shut it. Now. Next question. Ask me anything. Ask me anything you want. Yeah, to, well, I'd love to, but it seems that that is about all we have time for, actually. The thing is, you see, this is public radio, and every once in a while we need to appeal for money. Or cut away when people start brandishing guns in the studio. Like this. You're on pressing issues, and in this show we discussed morality. I think we made a lot of progress and really came together. I'm Maurice Chavez. Bye. Uh, please don't kill me. <laughs>